Hi, Tony here from Trachtenberg Speed Map. Today we're going to have a look at squaring two-digit numbers. Squaring two-digit numbers is very easy once you know the steps involved. Now when squaring, we have two special cases and the general case. The first special case are numbers ending in 5. The second special case are numbers starting with 5. And then we have the general case for any two-digit numbers. Now while explaining the squaring process, there'll be a lot going on, but I would like to separate the screen into two parts. On the page, which is the stuff that you'd actually write down while doing the calculation, and in your mind. These are the calculations that you should be doing mentally. Let's have a look at an example. We'll start with squaring numbers ending in 5. Now here we have 45. Because the number ends in 5, we know that the answer is going to end in 25. Because 5 squared is 25. So the last two digits of the answer for numbers ending in 5 will always be 25. To find the leading digits of the answer, we have a look at the tens digit, in this case the 4, and we add 1 to it. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Now we take the original 4, or the original number, and the new number, and then multiply them. So in this case it's 4 times 5, which is 20. And there we have our leading digits. So the answer of 45 squared is 2025. Let's have a look at a second example. Here we have 85 squared. So we know the answer ends in 25. The tens digit is 8, so we Add 1 to that, 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 times 9 is 72, and there's our answer, 7,225. Let's look at one more example. Let's look at 15 squared. Again, it ends in 25. The tens digit is 1, so we add 1 to that, 1 plus 1 is 2. We multiply the 1 by the 2, so 1 times 2 is 2, and there's our answer. 225. Squaring numbers ending in 5 is very, very simple. You should be able to do any two-digit number ending in 5. You should be able to square it in your head. Now let's look at squaring numbers starting in 5. Again, we first look at the units digit. In this case, it's the 4, and we square that digit. So 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 makes up the last two digits of the answer. Now, to find the first two digits of the answer, the tens unit is 5, so we know that 5 squared is 25. We add the units digit to the 25. So we have 25 plus 4 is 29, and there's our answer, 2916. Let's have a look at another example. Let's look at 57 squared. So the first step, the units is 7, so 7 times 7 is 49. There's our last two digits. Now, because the leading digit is 5, it's 25 plus the units digit, so 25 plus 7 is 32, and there's our answer, 3,249. Let's have a look at one more example. Let's look at 51 squared. First, the units digit is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. Now, because we need a two-digit answer here, we'll put a zero in front of the one. So the last two digits of the answer are zero, one. Now, because it starts in five, we'll add the units digit to 25. So it's 25 plus one is 26. And there's our answer, 2,601. Now, let's have a look at the general case for squaring any two-digit numbers. Again, we start with the units. We have 7, so 7 squared is 49. We put the 9 and carry the 4. Now, the second step is to multiply the tens digit by the units digit. So in this case, the 3 times 7. So we go 3 times 7 is 21. We now double that answer. So 21 times 2, which is 42. And then we have a carry. So 42 plus 4 is 46. So we write down the 6, carry the 4. The next step is to square the tens digit, so in this case 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Now we have a 4 
we carried over, so 9 plus 4 is 13. So we just write down the 3 and the 1, and there's our answer, 1,369. Let's look at another example. Let's look at 62 squared. First off, we look at the units, the 2, so 2 times 2, or 2 squared, is 4. So we put down the 4. The second step, we multiply the tens by the units, so 6 times 2 is 12. We double this, so 12 times 2 is 24. So we put down the 4, carry the 2. The last step is to square the tens digit, in this case 6, so 6 times 6 is 36. We have a carry of 2, so 36 plus 2 is 38. So we write down the 8 and the 3, and there's our answer, 3,844. Let's look at one final example. Let's look at 19 squared. We look at the units, it's 9, so 9 squared is 81. Put down the 1, carry the 8. Second step, we take the tens digit and multiply it by the units. In this case, the tens digit is 1. So 1 times 9 is 9. We double this, so 9 times 2 is 18. We have an 8 from the carry, so 18 plus 8 is 26. So we write down the 6, carry the 2. Final step is to square the tens digit, so 1 times 1 is 1. We have a 2 from the carry, so 1 plus 2 is 3. Put up 3, and there's our answer, 361. Very easy to square any two-digit number. So simple. You should be able to do most of these in your head. So let's summarise. Squaring numbers ending in 5, the steps are 1, the last two digits are always 25. 2, the first one or two digits are found by multiplying the tens digit by itself plus 1. Squaring numbers starting in 5. The last two digits are the square of the units digit. And the first two digits are found by adding the units digit to 25. For squaring any two digit numbers, the steps are 1. Square the units digit. 2. Multiply the tens and units digits together and double. And 3. Square the tens digit. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something. If you want to find out more, you can come to tractionbergspeedmath.com. We have free membership, we have hundreds of downloadable PDF worksheets, there are more videos, and you can learn the entire Trachtenberg system at our site. Thanks again for watching.